Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I have a mask on. I do. People have been asking me for days to show how to make a mask. They are quick and easy. Um, what, I, what has stopped me is that I know this won't keep you from getting the COVID virus, but it will help stop the spread of germs. You know, there's no way to make a fabric adhere and self-seal to your face like the, the important masks, but I know that in the hospitals, our first responders, our nurses, our doctors, they are saying, wear a bandana, wear a scarf, anything to keep that spread. And, uh, and this, you know, if you cough, this will keep that this will keep that from spreading. So these are super easy and super quick, and if you want one or you wanna help your community, this is a great way to do it. So um, I'm talking about two pieces of fabric, and I have just used this scrap of, uh, of a blue fabric, and then another piece, and I chose flannel. Flannel for the part that is close up by your face because it's so soft. And so um, I think flannel's a good option. For the adult mask, it's gonna be a six by nine inch piece of fabric. Um, and that's just your general measurement. I actually shortened mine to eight and a half because I have a very narrow face here. And, uh, and, it, and it worked fine for me as well. Uh, for the children's, the children's mask, depending upon the size of the child, it's about seven and a half and five inches wide. So seven and a half inches long, five inches wide. For the ear loops, um, the, uh, I'm using elastic, flat elastic. I don't have, this is what I had, it's quarter inch and, and it works fine. Um, you can use eighth inch, you can use rope elastic, but we are make do girls. So, you know, if we need a mask and we don't have any of this kind of elastic, you can put a tie on. Um, you could use the waistband of your pantyhose. <laughs> you could. We don't wear them anymore, but we still have them in our drawer. So we might as well use those, you know, but you could use anything just so that it um, goes around your ear or ties to the back of your head. So let me show you how to do this. So right now I have two pieces that are cut at six inches wide and I'm gonna cut it at nine inches wide. And so I'm just gonna count over. I've got this laying on my little mat here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna make a cut just like this. And now I'm gonna put these two fast pieces so that the right sides are facing together like this. Now what I like to do is I like to just leave, I'm gonna leave an opening to turn this and so I'm just gonna mark that with my little marker right here. I'm just gonna put a mark here and a mark here so that I'm gonna, I know when to start and stop but we're only sewing the sides first. So we're gonna sew this side and we're gonna sew this side and then we're gonna put our elastic in. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm just sewing a quarter of an inch and I'm back spacing or back stitching so that um, when I go to turn it, it won't come apart. So we're just sewing straight off there. And then we're gonna come over here and sew this side right here. And sew straight down, straight across the whole side. And then I'm gonna come over here to this corner and sew up to my mark. There we go. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our elastic in and we need two pieces that are cut seven inches. So I'm just gonna hold this right here. And honestly, seven inches, you know, you'll wanna check with your, um, when, if you make a child's one, you'll wanna check. This is not at all too tight for me. So uh, you may need them a little shorter. You just never know. Now, if you do rope elastic, you're gonna to wanna to put a knot in there because the chance of the stitch catching that is really slim. But for um, the flat elastic, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in here flat and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna push it right up to this seam right here. So make sure it goes, it's sticking right up to this seam, right in there. Do you see that right there? So it's just sticking right and I'm gonna sew right across there, quarter of an inch. So it's just flat against that seam. And I'm gonna sew this right across here like this. And I went over it twice. All right, now I'm gonna sew just a little bit and then I'm gonna bring that elastic and I'm gonna keep it flat, keep it nice and flat. And so I'm just gonna feel it so it stays flat and I'm gonna pull it up here to the other side and you can see I'm, I'm pulling it out and I'm gonna stick it so it now leans right up against the side of this seam as well. And so we're gonna put it up this seam and go across it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm sticking my elastic inside, opening this up. I haven't turned it or anything. 
and I'm sticking my elastic inside there and I'm gonna push it right up next to that seam right there and I'm just gonna sew a little bit back and forth back and forth and then I'm going to bring this keep it flat keep it flat and bring it right over to the other side and just make sure it's stuck right next to that seam just push it right up next there hang on I don't know if I have it flat all right there we go and now let's sew a little bit now push this up to that seam it works for me better if I just sew a little bit closed and then I have just this little edge to deal with right here all right so just push that up to that seam and back and forth and back and forth all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this so let me just turn this right here and you just push it through and you'll see your elastic start coming through and this is a great time to pull out you use your use your elastic to pull out your corners like this and like this and use your elastic to pull out your corners now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna press this and I'm going to fold these this edges under and press this so it's nice and flat and I've got my uh, my little ironing mat right here and I am just gonna press this nice and flat just right here pull out my corners with my elastic those are the best corners you're, you're gonna have because you've got you know you've got that elastic to pull on there all right now it's pressed and I'm just gonna top stitch all the way around this so I'm gonna start right here on this side and I'm gonna tuck my little thread in there and I'm just gonna sew all the way around. This is gonna close up our little, our, uh, our little opening that we used for turning. It will just close it up. It will also help anchor those, those elastic, um, the ear holders. I don't know what to call them, ear holders. <laughs> Hanger honors. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pleats in here because this is what helps it to, uh, to cover your face. And so when we do the pleats, what I like to do is I kind of fold this down like this. So just maybe an inch and a quarter or so, and then I'm gonna fold it back and I'm gonna put a pin in there and I'm gonna put a pin in on both sides like this. So do both sides at once, just like this. and put another pin in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. So see what I'm doing right here is I'm just gonna squinch this up right here and make a little pleat and put another pin in there. And this helps it to fit your face better and you can then pull it down over your nose. So see how I have my pins in here just like that? And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. So I'm doing them both at once because if you do one side and then you do the other, the chances of you getting your pleats going this way and that way are real good. So I've got pins in both sides here. See there? Now I'm just gonna top stitch right down, right straight down them. So I'm gonna start at the corner again and I'm going to just lay my pleats on here, take out my pin, sew over it, and I back stitched a little bit uh, right on top of the pleat where the edge is, back stitch a little bit, and come down off the end. Then we're gonna flip it around over here and do the same thing. So I am actually top stitching on the same seam as my, I mean, I'm sewing my pleats down on the same seam as my top stitching. So it just looks really nice and clean. There we have it. So you can see my, my top stitching right there. I top stitched on the same seam. And so now I have these pleats and we can try it. And just like that, you've got a mask. I mean, it's so quick and easy. Now there isn't anything in here, you know, to help this seal or, or close or anything like that, but it's a quick and easy mask and it's a great way to stop the spread of germs. And if you wanna make masks for uh, those people in our community who, who need help with that, please do. And we hope you enjoyed this and, um, 
and we'll do the best you can to stay safe and healthy and stop the spread of germs. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.